Morgan Wallen seemed to be joking with police as he was handcuffed and taken away in a police car on Monday morning in Nashville. Video snapped on social media seems to show him smiling as he engages with police. He's certainly smiling in this mugshot. Another video shows him cooperating with the cops as he's put into handcuffs. But is he being too nonchalant about all this? Right now these are felony charges and if they hold, he could certainly be facing jail time. This video is going to break down exactly what police say happened on April 7th at Chiefs in Nashville, then we'll look at sentencing guidelines and compare them to what Wallen did. Finally, we'll look at his previous arrests. Subscribers know we try not to speculate on this channel, so thanks in advance for watching and as we learn more, we'll certainly report back. The timeline is important here. As most of the music industry was in Austin, Texas for the 2024 CMT Awards, Wallen was at Eric Church's newly opened bar, Chiefs, on Lower Broadway. Per his lawyer, Wallen was arrested just before 11 p.m. Central Time. That's just as the awards were closing. Now, I really don't think what he did was any sort of reaction to not winning in the Male Video of the Year category, even if that award was given out just minutes before the incident. His nomination was for the studio video of his song Last Night. It's a good video, but hardly a cinematic masterpiece. Jelly Roll won that video, by the way, and he probably was the most deserving. Gotta give credit to Nashville's News Channel 5 for being first to report on this arrest. Media was kind of slow to share because it happened as outlets were focused on the awards, and the booking and his release happened in the middle of the night. But here's what police say happened. Two police officers were standing outside in front of chiefs when a chair came from above and landed just beside them. When they went inside to investigate, they learned that Wallen had allegedly thrown the chair from the roof of the bar six stories up. They say they got video, and bar staff pointed to Wallen when they asked who did it. Other outlets say Wallen was seen laughing afterwards, but we didn't verify that. Once the cops made contact with him, he was arrested on three counts of reckless endangerment, one for each police officer, and one for the general public. He was also charged with disorderly conduct. Bond was set at $15,250, and WSMB in Nashville reports that Wallen was released just after 3.30 a.m. Monday morning. Wallen's lawyers say he's cooperating fully with authorities. Multiple law firms and Tennessee legal websites explain exactly what could happen to someone charged with felony reckless endangerment. I'm going to focus on this one from Justia. You'll see the definition of the crime first, followed by a few variations. It can be a Class A misdemeanor or one of multiple types of felonies. No firearm was involved, so Class C and Class D felonies are out. So that leaves us with a Class E felony. Per Best and Brock, attorneys in Chattanooga, Tennessee, a Class E felony is punishable by not less than one year and not more than six years in jail. That means between one and six years in jail and up to a $3,000 fine. I didn't speak to any attorneys yet, but if I get some information that conflicts this potential sentencing, I'm going to drop it in the comment section below. Of course, it's always possible that the charge could be reduced or even dismissed if the evidence doesn't substantiate the charge. You probably saw this story and started poking around about Morgan Wallman's previous arrests, so I'll recap those here. In May 2020, he was cuffed for disorderly conduct after an altercation at Kid Rock's bar in Nashville. Some reporting shows that in 2016, he was stopped for suspicion of driving under the influence, but not charged. He was also admittedly drunk when he used a racial slur caught on camera after what he described as a 72-hour bender. Then there was the incident at the University of Alabama that got him kicked off of Saturday Night Live for a few weeks. Previously, he's issued apologies on Instagram and promised to do better. He's also referred to getting treatment, but always been a little bit vague about what that meant, so I'm going to stop short of saying he's been to rehab or that he's acknowledged or been treated for any sort of drinking problem. As of Monday morning, the only statement has been this one, issued by his lawyer. At 10.53p Sunday evening, Morgan Wallen was arrested in downtown Nashville for reckless endangerment and disorderly conduct. He's cooperating fully with authorities. Wallen's record label or management has not issued any sort of statement yet. If you enjoyed this video, we dropped another one that we think you'll enjoy right here, and YouTube's picked one out for you that we put right here. I'm Billy Dukes for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing.